welcome back to another video so today we're gonna be going over the top five meta lowest recoil class setup we're gonna focus mainly on recoil control setups for one of the most popular weapons in the game so hopefully you guys do enjoy the video leave a like as well it shows that i'm doing something right and i'll continue to make these kind of videos for you guys make sure to subscribe if you're new around here to make your way back to the channel join tournament nation today and uh yeah let's just get into the video first up we got the bullfrog i know this is a fan favorite this gun already has low recoil as is and this is what makes it a really fun and enjoyable gun to use uh so for this low recoil bullfrog class class setup we got the groove suppressor so obviously this is just such an obvious choice here mainly because we get the best of both worlds we got the muzzle flash concealment as well as the vertical recoil control so this is what i really like about this attachment if i'm trying to outfit my weapon a certain way i get to have stealth and that recoil control and also by the way this goes for all of my class setups i will not be repeating my secondaries and perks and etc etc because uh pretty much they're all the same thing all the way throughout so make sure you pay attention the first time so next up for the barrel we got the task force barrel now i know this seems a little counterintuitive for a no recoil class setup but like i was alluding to earlier i was saying the bullfrog has little to no recoil as is so this allows us to fully take advantage of the task force barrel and this extends our damage range out to 23 meters which is absolutely insane for an smg and this is what really makes it a lot more versatile in most situations but clearly using it on smaller maps is definitely preferred all right so for the under barrel we're using the Spetsnaz grip pretty straightforward we get the vertical and horizontal recoil control uh magazine this is pretty much a wild card you can use whatever you want to but what fun is the bullfrog when you're not using the 85 round fast mag you know this is just what makes this gun even more enjoyable to use all right now for the stock we're gonna go with the kgb skeletal stock so uh yeah this is my bullfrog class setup no recoil and for my secondary you can use whatever you want to sometimes i'll just run with a melee and then other times i'll run with a street sweeper so for the street sweeper we got the duck build choke then we got the reinforced heavy five milliwatt laser static 18 round drum as well as the wire stock and then for my tactical we got the stim shot c4 and the jammer and here's my perk combination if you want to go ahead and use it i got flag jack attack mask scavenger tracker ghost and you know i'll switch out my perks with either uh ninja we got spycraft but i will always use ghost so ghost is something that i really really enjoy using especially with how easy it is to get uavs it's just a lot safer that way to stay hidden on the enemy radar when you're running around trying to stay on your streaks uh but most of the time i'll probably go with spycraft or with ninja you know it really just depends how i feel that day next up we got the ffar1 so this is a pretty interesting setup here this used to be one of the most high recoil setups in the game but Treyarch finally updated it and now this is a much more manageable assault rifle and it's a lot more enjoyable to use obviously because it's got a really fast time to kill uh, especially in close range so anyways for the muzzle we got the infantry compensator now for the barrel you guys have been pushing me to use the takedown barrel and this absolutely does make a world of a difference which is pretty nice we get a 22 meter effective damage range if you guys missed my video on the top five fastest killing assault rifles make sure to check that video out i show you guys a ttk spreadsheet of how far uh and how fast these guns kill so with the ffr1 it was previously 12 meters so we get to take that extension all the way out to 22 meters to take advantage of that fast ttk so the takedown barrel thanks to you guys and the suggestion it really does make a huge difference all right now for the under barrel we got the field agent grip magazine is going to be the salvo 44 round fast mag i feel like this is absolutely essential you got to have fast reload times as well as the most amount of ammo that you can because the fire rate is absolutely quick so for the stock we got the raider stock as well all right moving on we've got a fan favorite here we got the lc10 i think we can all agree that the lc10 has got little to no recoil and it's just so enjoyable to use it's smooth man using it the mobility uh the handling everything that comes with it you can literally outfit it however you want to but today we're focusing strictly on this recoil so we got the agency suppressor for the muzzle then for the barrel we got the task force barrel under barrel is going to be the field agent grip magazine is going to be the 45 round but you can you can use whatever you want to here it's all personal choice and the stock we're going to go with the raider stock all right next up we got the vargo 52 so the vargo 52 
has definitely become one of my favorite assault rifles in the game for good reason. It's got a pretty fast TTK. It's definitely top tier meta and also the handling and the speed, everything about it is just so enjoyable to use. So for the muzzle, we got the Guru Suppressor once again. Barrel is going to be the VDV reinforced. Under barrel, we got the Spetsnaz grip. Magazine is going to be the 40 round magazine. Again, this is all personal preference. Use what you desire. Handle is going to be the Guru Elastic Wrap. All right, and last but not least, we have the AK-47. Now, for the AK-47, we got the Gru Suppressor, VDV Reinforced, foregrip for the underbarrel. Magazine is going to be the 40 round, but use whatever you please. And the stock is going to be the KGB Skeletal stock. Now, one thing I do have to point out, though, the reason why I gave the slight edge to the Vargo 52 as slightly better than the AK-47 is because the AK-47 has just a slightly slower mobility you know when you compare it to the vargo 52 the vargo 52 is just i just feel a little bit more mobile with it not to say that the ak-47 is not mobile at all but just simply stating the facts of how it feels when i use the weapon so that's why we're going with the kgb skeletal stock on the ak-47 i've tried the gru elastic wrap but you know what it, it does come with a really fast ads and it feels nice and all but it just feels a little too stiff you know when you're aiming down sides and you're trying to strafe it just feels too stiff the kgb skeletal stock feels the best and most comfortable on the ak-47 so yeah this is pretty much it for my top five low recoil meta weapon class setups so let's go ahead and just get a quick gameplay in when one of these class setups and i'll see you guys in game all right all right you already know i gotta use the lc10 ladies and gentlemen this gun is just absolutely amazing you know, I really hope that they come out with a gun similar to this in Modern Warfare. Ooh, ho, ho, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's back up real quick. Ah, I'm pushing my luck here. Pushing my luck. Ooh. All right, we got to dip. We got to dip out. Spawns might even flip on us here. Yes, sir, they did. Where's this guy at? Is he here? Hello? Guess not. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guys, if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you. Drop a comment down below. Low recoil. That way I know, man. You're watching all the way through. You don't, you don't just stop watching just because you got the, the class setups. Appreciate that, guys. Low recoil. Hello? Where are they at? Okay. Take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's getting crazy now. Come on. Let me get all my streaks. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. I see you. Right side of my screen. No. I'm dead. I'm dead. 100%. Oh, oh my gosh. No. You know, it's always that third guy, man. That third player. They just get you. Oh, I might be dead here. Woo, yeah, I called it. Making me work hard right now. Oh my gosh, we are... Oh, oh boy. What were you trying to do? Oh my gosh. You know, I very rarely do that. <laughs> so I must say, I'm pretty happy with how that sequence turned out. That was great. Come on, come on, come on. Come out of your spawn. There's got to be more of you. Thank you. Have spawns flip. That is the number one question. I want them spawning behind me. Come on. So close to my streaks here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. Someone to my right. Let's hack this. 
perfect. No, dude. Oh. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you guys a quick exhibition of uh, this LC10 class setup. We finished with 32 kills, 14 deaths. Obviously not the greatest gameplay, but like I said, I just want to show you guys a quick little gameplay. Using the LC10, it's no surprise. We already know the LC10 has literally no recoil. Just thought I'd just show this as a little feature for y'all. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching today's video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.